welcome to the video. Cybersecurity in a small business or in your home doesn't have to be complicated. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple thing that you can do to add a, a layer of security, almost literally, to your home and small network so that users within that network can navigate and go to the internet and do whatever they need to do with servers and other assets in the network and be reasonably secure network address translation. If you're not familiar with network address translation, NAT, it's, it's, it's a fascinating thing that allows for a public network to be able to communicate with multiple assets within a private network. That's where we get private IP addresses. On the screen, you can see that I actually have some private IP addresses noted here. So I'm going to have a, a primary router here. I'm going to have a machine that's attached to that via Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to have a, another router that's attached directly to that router. And then another machine connected to this router. It might seem ridiculous. Imagine that you're at your house and you build a room. And in that room, you want people to be able to do their stuff in there and be able to leave, go out and do whatever they want and come back in without any problems at all. However, you want this to be a safe room and you don't want anybody to access that room at all. This is exactly how NAT works. It's exactly how your router at your house works. People are scanning your public IP address all the time. Why are they not hacking into it all the time? It's because your router is doing its job. It's saying, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Don't, you're not allowed to come in. D did you originate on the inside of the network? No. NAT does that for us. Let's take that concept, bring it into the small network here. And now this asset here can leave the network. No problem at all because of the firewall and the NAT relationship, Every, everything inside here cannot get over into this secret space that's hidden behind the NAT in this additional private network. Let's bring in our other machines here and try to put these machines where they belong in the topology. I've got a Kali machine here and its IP address is a 192.168.0.101. Let's slap that in here. Let's look at the Ubuntu machine, and it is a 1.76. Now, these two machines are in completely different networks. Let's go to our Kali machine and ping the Ubuntu machine. Right away, we can see that it is able to leave the network and go to that machine and because of this, the state being remembered inside of the firewall in this router, it's able to get back in to the original sending machine. All right, good. That's good. That's a normal network behavior. Now, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go from Ubuntu to the one to the 0 0.101. Now, it shouldn't work. <laughs> uh, and it won't. <laughs> And it doesn't. It's being killed right there. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. <laughs> we demonstrated the value of having that. But hold on. Not all cybersecurity has to be hardcore. Making simple additions to your network can add a ton of valuable security. This setup is very simple. And it's, it's dirt cheap. I think this router cost me $5 at a second hand secondhand store. And really, because of the nature of NAT, nobody in here is going to be able to brute force through this NAT to get into this network. Somebody could do a denial of service, but really, if you've compromised my internal network at this point, at this point, I've got more concerns than you getting past this additional wall or barrier into other stuff. In this case, I actually went in and turned off the Wi-Fi, so nobody around my house can see this router. It's only a physical connection from my, my laptop, Ethernet, to the back of this router, and then this router is connected to 
through Ethernet to my other router. Because WAN interfaces typically have DHCP enabled, it actually asked this router and this, this network here for an IP address. It's, it's great. So the, the setup was super straightforward as well. Could these machines still be compromised? Yes, of course they can. This machine can go to the internet and anytime you're, you're dancing around on the internet, you could unintentionally download malware. So I could go from here to the internet, download malware by accident, and then ransomware or whatever, now it's spreading, spreading internally, potentially going off in there. But that's not what I care about in this particular setup. What I care about is that nobody in here can get in there. It's, a, it's an isolated area. We can do this with network segmentation as well inside a router. But what I'm demonstrating here is that you can throw on simple pieces of network hardware that are going to improve your cybersecurity. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you soon.